Today, we are going to study about the mole and chemical reaction. When reacting chemicals together, we may need to know what mass of each reactant to use so that they react exactly and there is no waste. To calculate this, we need to know the chemical equation. This shows us the ratio of moles of the reactants and products, the stoichiometry of the equation. So in order to do this, steps to solve problems involving stoichiometry reaction. We should know all these steps. Step number one, balance the equation. So if the equation is not balanced, we have to balance the equation. Sometimes the equation may not be balanced because at the end, it may give us a wrong answer. So we have to, in the first step, we have to see whether the equation is balanced. The reactants are equal to the product. Next, step two, convert mass to moles. We all know how to convert mass to moles. We studied about it in the previous lesson in the video. If you are not sure of it, please go back to the previous video. Number three, suppose we have an equation 2x plus y equals to z. Here the mole ratio between x and z or x and y would be 2 is to 1. Now suppose we have another equation ax plus by equals to z. Now the mole ratio over here, of, we can talk about the mole ratio over here ax is to by. Here, remember, follow this very carefully. Here, X and Y are reactants or products in a chemical reaction. So X and Y is there, and then Z is also there. So X, we can consider the reactants, uh, X and Y, and then products. A is the coefficient of X, and B is the coefficient of Y in a balanced equation. So here, when you see a small a, it's just uh, assumed that a is the coefficient of x and b is the coefficient of y in a balanced equation. x, y are the reactants and then z is over there also. It's a product. Now, remember, multiply the moles of x by a divided by b to get moles of y. This is the third step. It will become more clear as we'll solve up an example. Number four, multiply the result step in step two by B divided by A to get moles of Y formed. Finally, convert moles of reactants products or products to mass. So let us uh, do an example to understand the following steps that we just now studied. Now the question, let's take uh, this question over here. Example number one, what mass of aluminum oxide is produced when 9.2 gram of aluminum metal reacts completely with oxygen gas and the equation is 4al plus 3o2 gives 2al2o3 so here the first step is we all know the first step over here is balance the equation b a l a n c e balance the equation and if we look at the equation, aluminum is 4 here also in the right side, product side, aluminum is 4. Oxygen is 6 and in the product side also oxygen is 6. So the equation is balanced. Now the second step. What is the second step? Convert mass to moles. So over here we have, if you look at the question, 9. 0.2 gram of aluminium. So in order to convert mass to moles, what we do? We take 9.2 gram of aluminium and we divide it by 
27 gram per mole what is 27 uh, gram per mole that is the molar mass of aluminium that is the molar mass of aluminium so what will be the answer over here if we divide it it will be 0 0.34 mole so now we have converted it into mole so we know the moles of aluminium now we convert it from mass to moles now let us move down to the third step what is the third step we have to define what is the values like we have to define the values like what is x what is y and what is a and what is b now you carefully understand it because you're going to use the step now over here if you look at the equation we have to define x y and a and b so what is x over here x is the aluminium metal what is y over here y is here we are what mass of aluminium oxide is produced so we are more focused towards they don't, didn't ask you about oxygen so here y will be al 3 x is given already 9.2 that is aluminium metal and what we have to find out mass of aluminium oxide produced so that's what we have to find out now another thing we have to see is the coefficient here coefficient a equals to how much 4 and coefficient b of this is equals to 2 so now we have defined x y and a and b coefficient also and the reactants and a value of x and y that is product over there now multiply the result of step 2 by b divided by a to get the moles of y formed so what will be the step 4 step 4 will be we have to multiply we can write it down multiply m u l t i p l y multiply the result result of step 2 what was the step 2 what was the result this is convert mass to mole so what was the result what did we get it as 0 0.34 so multiply the result of step 2 by what b divided by a so b divided by a to get moles of aluminium oxide form moles of y formed so let us do that so let's move on to the next page let's create a page now what will it be if you look at it it's <coughs> already 0 0.34 so 0 0.34 into what did we define this as b divided by a so 2 divided by 4 2 divided by 4 what will it be equal to 0 0.17 mole of al2 o3 so now we have got the moles of al2o3 now we come to the final step that is the fifth step what we have to do in the fifth step convert moles of reactant or product reactants 
or products to into mass so we have to convert whatever moles we have got into mass so how will we do it what how many moles are there of aluminium oxide 0 0.17 mole of aluminium oxide into 102 that is the molar mass of aluminium oxide 102 what will it be equal to 17.3 gram that is our final answer that is 17.3 gram so according to the question what mass of aluminium oxide is produced the mass will be 17.3 gram i hope you have understood this numerical students if you like the way i am teaching please subscribe please like because that's going to encourage me to make more uh, lessons video lessons so i will come up with a lot of more uh, easy steps that will help you to understand the basic concept more easily so uh, please keep on subscribing if you haven't subscribed and like thank you students now we move down to the second example the second example is as follows how many grams of ammonia is used up in the reaction of 8.16 gram of pbo equation is 3 pbo plus 2 nh3 will give you 3 pb plus n2 plus 3 h2o now the first step in this problem in this sol uh, solution is that we have to balance the equation the equation is already balanced so we'll move on to the next process now what is the next process the next process or the next step is convert mass to moles so we already know how to do that so let's take uh, 8.16 gram of pbo so 8.16 gram of pbo and we divide it by molar mass of lead pbo that is 2 2 3.199 gram per mole and the answer to that will be 0 0.037 mole so there we have got we converted it into mole of pbo now the third step is we have to identify x y and a and b so here x is pbo y is what we have to how many grams of ammonia is used up so that's what we have to find out so y is nh3 now identify a a is if you look at 3 pbo a is coefficient is 3 and b coefficient of nh3 is 2 so there we have identified identified x y a and b now the fourth step is multiply the result let's write it down multiply m u l t i p l y multiply the result of step 2 step 2 what was the result 0 0.037 so multiply the result of step 2 by b divided by a that is b that is 2 divided by 3 
to get moles of y used so that is step number four so let's solve it what will it be let's do it so what is the mole 0 0.037 of p of pbo pbo into b divided by a so 2 divided by 3 will give you 0 0.025 mole of NH3 used. So we have got that. So multiply the result of step 2 by B divided by A, that is 2 divided by 3, and we get 0 0.25 mole of ammonia. Now let's go to the last step. What is the last step? Convert moles to mass. So C U N V E R T. Convert moles to mass. So how many moles was there? 0 0.025. So let's write it down. 0 0.025 moles of of NH3 into molar mass of NH3 that is 17.031 gram per mole. Remember always to write down the unit. So what will it be equal to finally? 0 0.426 gram of NH3 that is used. So finally, we got the answer in gram that is 0 0.4269 gram of ammonia. So students, I hope you have understood it. If you like my lessons, you can understand it well. Please subscribe if you have already not subscribed and please like it and share it with your friends. Thank you very much.